Hello, my name is Michael Keneally, and I'm inviting you to watch a webinar about the sun in your Vedic birth chart. This is depth perception. It's used for healing and empowerment. It's vast learning. The sun is the source of life, and he's also our soul our own special spark or refraction of the divine. And above all, he's the principle of sovereignty. In the heavens, he holds the planets in their orbits. But we, each of us, need our sovereignty. We need to find it. <clears throat> and some people find it easier than others. So the point is that on how the sun actually appears in your Vedic birth chart, it's a huge key to predicting how the course of your life will run. Vedic astrology offers you ways to understand your life and destiny. But it's got to be used to end the negative scripts you incarnated with and to assist you to manifest the special spark that you were born to become this lifetime. In other words, it needs to be used to heal and empower. And it's crucial for us to have the perception and also use gateways of healing and empowerment if we're to become the spark of the divine the special particular human being we were actually born to become that we actually are so this webinar is part of my learn vedic astrology level one foundation course so it's module one in my foundation course the sun in your vedic birth chart and it's a vast offering. It actually runs for two hours, ten minutes. So this webinar is a wonderful chance to study the sun as a divine force and principle, to learn how he manifests in our individual astrology charts. Okay, what are the methods of study I use on the course and in the webinars? Well, in fact, there is depth study of the Vedic astrology characteristics of each planet, the sun in this case. So you build up a very informed picture. I'll be mentioning some of the characteristics in a moment. But we don't just list characteristics. There's an opportunity for visualization visualization of the sun, visualization of the divine sun, visualization of how we are, and visualization of our goal, how we would wish to become. I also refer to the myth of the sun, which is very instructive. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I have a cold. Um, and we also use healing approaches. I've worked with my partner Maggie Pashley for um, six years offering joint astrology and healing workshops and classes and webinars and she's been studying many healing modalities for 25 years and these are detailed on my Master Vedic Astrology website. But the one we use in this webinar is EFT, which is simple and powerful and moving and healing. Basically, held patterns, held blocks, held distress is freed up and healed during EFT. And also, it moves us energetically and in a visionary way to how we were born to be if it were not for the blocks which we have to learn to overcome. And there's also artwork. So, for example, we draw the sovereignty of the sun. We may draw 
how we feel now, only like quick five minute sketches or whatever. And we may draw how we want to be. And so you're, you know, you need to have pen and paper ready before you start watching the webinar. And we also do embodiment work. So stand up and embody how you feel you are now and the person you were born to be. It's quite moving and powerful. And we've been doing this in student webinars for some, some time. For example, embodying some special aspect in the chart. We learn so much through artwork and embodiment. We learn so much and we heal and empower so much through the EFT or the other healing techniques. So the aim of this webinar is to present the sun in a way that honors Vedic astrology interpretive techniques in their hugeness and in a way that fully respects the divine sun. And I aim to do this always in my work in a way that's not formulaic, not legalistic, not over cerebral. And indeed, to have to listen to that from a teacher is actually disempowering. So I make the teaching relevant and grounded. And one way I do this is always to relate it to our charts, to my chart and members' charts. So because we are looking at the sun in the charts of flesh and blood people, it's grounded, it's caring, it's real, it's genuine. Now, if you, you can either get this webinar by buying it now, and I'll tell you how in a bit, or you can get it free if you're a course enrolled student on my foundation course, I teach three different Vedic astrology courses, level one, level two, level three. And if you're an enrolled student, you not only get the webinars free, one on each planet, one on the how, all the houses, the signs, etc., etc., all the facets of the level one syllabus, but for each webinar, you also get often quite substantial handbooks that accompany the webinar. And they're free, as well as, of course, the course handbook. Just to tell you a bit about my background, I completed a five-year social anthropological field study, an ethnography of spiritual forms new to the West, where I had to live in the communities and institutions I studied. I have a total of five degrees, including an MA from Oxford, <coughs> excuse me, Oxford University. And throughout my life, I always seek to be a caring and supportive teacher, fully answering the students' questions, fully responding to their work. So you can buy this webinar individually, either through the shop page on my um, Vedic Level 1 Foundation course website, www.mastervedicastrology.com, or you can go direct to my Shopify shop, and that is um, https colon forward slash forward slash shop dot starwheelastrology.com. And Alternatively, you can get the webinar free by enrolling on the course, and there's a button to do this on the Master Vedic Astrology website, and you get the handbook free with it. And the handbook's actually over 80 pages, because being the first planet to be studied in the course, there's a load of contextual frameworks and Vedic interpretive techniques that you need to pick up at the beginning to also, of course, apply to all the other planets you work through. The method of the course is that you go planet by planet, analyzing your chart and sending that work for me to comment on, and then analyzing my chart and sending me that work to comment on, first for the sun, then the moon, then Mercury, and so on through all the planets. So just to mention that the handbook contains a lot of keys to understanding that are 
not gone into too greatly in the webinar, even though it takes a couple of hours. So, for example, there's the three gunas, sattva, rajas, and tamas. The three doshas, vata, pitta, and kapha. The five great elements of the Vedic cosmology. The varna, or caste, which now, of course, translates as occupation. You study the three sun-ruled nakshatras. The nakshatras are the wonderful, supreme, 27 sign lunar zodiac that Vedic astrology uses, as well as its 12 sun signs. And three of the 27 lunar signs or nakshatras are actually ruled by the sun. So we study them in this module, Kritika, Uttara Palguni and Uttara Shada. We also look at the four aims of life, Dharma, Arta, Kama and Moksha. We look at when sun forms an aspect to other planets and we look at how the sun has a predictive energy in our life, the Dajas, the predictive periods and the sun transits. We learn how to assess the strength or weakness of the sun in each of our charts. And we look at when the sun acts as our atma character or soul indicator. Um, as a very special and unusual bonus, in all my three Vedic astrology courses, you can cross over into Western astrology if you wish. And in my Western astrology course, you can cross over into Vedic astrology if you wish. You see, Vedic astrology is a supreme declaration of our incarnational life purpose and of the li life circumstances <clears throat> that will constellate at our birth and what will unfold so that we can, if possible, realize our special talents, burn our negative karmas. But Western astrology essentially is psychological and psychodynamic. It's very valid and important, but it looks essentially at our egoic psychology and that in unfoldment, nature versus nurture, even Western evolutionary astrology, which looks at our destiny, looks at how our destiny manifests on the psychological planes. So in all my readings, I combine Western with Vedic astrology. And in my courses, I offer this if it's what the student wants. So, <clears throat> to buy the webinar on your Vedic sun, it's wonderful learning. Or enroll on my level one Vedic Astrology Foundation course, Master Vedic Astrology, and get the webinar and its handbook free. So I hope to be working with you. Thanks very much.